Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. I was gonna go ahead and like make a sandwich for a Pokemon and get moving again so that we could continue some of our research that we are doing on some of the new species here in the desert. But look at how cute this is. Smoliv and Capsicade have fallen asleep right on my feet. Mariah, don't step on them. <laughs> But this is just so adorable. Look at the little small limb. He has literally fallen asleep between my feet and Capsicate has too. I wonder if they're hiding from Jade Mint because she really does not like putting up with having these tiny Pokemon all over the place. Uh, hopefully she can be convinced to appreciate the members of our own party at least. But hello everyone and welcome back to our Pixel Biology field trip for the Grand Eevee Expedition. Because yes, this awesome Pixel Biology professor is able to go ahead and extend your experience of the EV event uh, because I figured out if you just don't connect your game to the internet like the events keep going just spoilers in case that helps anybody else <laughs> But we only have two more Eevee to catch before I am going to be content with having at least eight Eevee. Uh, and I am very excited because we have gone on so many adventures. We have traveled over so much of the world. We have been figuring out ways to wiggle into places where we should not wiggle because we are not ready. The levels are not there yet. All right, Smoliv, I'm going to have to go ahead and leave you. And let's make a quick sandwich. I hope. We did actually have a new person give us like a ton of food. Uh, and I, I'm really excited to figure out how you unlock recipes. I know it's kind of probably obvious how you unlock recipes, but I haven't run into any of that just yet. So egg power for a jam sandwich, teensy power for fighting, encounter power for fire, catching power for ghost. And then let's see, there's encounter for bug. You know what? Let's just make a, a wild sandwich. I'm gonna do lettuce, like let's do double lettuce, let's do onions, let's do, oh man that poor potato tortilla <laughs> looks really good. Let's do some of like this delicious vegan cheese. Um, and then let's do some, oh wow I can add a lot of stuff actually. You can really pile this puppy on, can't you? Um, let's do, let's do, you know what, let's do one of those tortillas <laughs> and then more cheese. Uh, and then let's go ahead and add on, what is gonna be good with all of that? You know what, I kinda just feel like salt and pepper uh, or maybe a little bit of butter too. Um, and maybe a bit of mayonnaise. Okay, fingers crossed that this isn't going to be a complete abomination, but I'm excited to go ahead and allow our Pokemon to have a little snack. Okay, I can totally do this. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe I didn't want this lettuce yet. Gosh darn it! Okay, you can't just put it back. I was thinking maybe we'll put the potato tortilla down first. Tortilla. Can I put it down and then pick it back up? Or once we're down... Oh, once we're down, we're down, friends. There's, there's no recovering that now. Okay, so with that in mind... Oh my gosh. Let's get this lettuce on here. I should have done a little bit of lettuce first. You live, you learn, you attempt to accomplish, like, the other things you wish out of your life. Um, should I do some of the onions? Let's do the cheese. Man, I wish I could eat onions. Real life Siri is now allergic to them, unfortunately. Side effect of lupus, but what do you know? I will have to just live vicariously through our little adventurer Siri. There we go. Oh, those look so good. All right. Okay, I think we've actually got it. <laughs> I love how you're given like 10 whole minutes to go ahead and make your sandwich. Is that an indication that one day we are going to reach a level of sandwich kind that are going to demand that amount of time just to, can, how, how, many, how many layers can you put on your Sammy? Like, can you start making, <gasps> no, the top. Oh boy. Okay, is that still going to be edible? I'm proud about that. It's, 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 it's kind of like an elegant open sandwich face presentation, right? <laughs> All right, everybody eat up and let's go ahead and see what our glorious creation happens to offer us. 
Not sure about this, but... All right, everybody seems to enjoy it. I think that's the same for like everything. A tasty cereal original. <gasps> Three stars! Encounter power grass, yes, I will take that. I absolutely adore being able to hang out with like the grass types. All right, anything in this basket? Nope, we do not have any eggs hiding in there just yet. But let's go ahead and pack up from our picnicking. We've got a little bit of experience for everybody. And now, before we go ahead and we head on to the next Din destination, we do have to stop for a little bit of Pokemon field research because, friends, there's a Dung Beetle Pokemon, and I have got to know its name. Oh, you're so cute! Oh my gosh, okay, we might actually be able to catch her! Okay, um, Jademan? Why don't you Magic Leaf instead of Bite? Because I, I wouldn't want to make you have to do that. Oh, that's okay. She's not very effective. Oh, wow. Okay, so she's actually kind of tough. We're going to have to see. Is she like a fighting type? Uh, let's do maybe a quick attack. And let's see how that works out. Okay, she's a little bit tougher than I thought she would be. Whoa, Jade Mint! Okay, and damaged by the recoil. Okay. Jade Mint, how about we go ahead and we toss you a super potion? Because I think we're going to try to just, like, study this one out. There you go, my dear. All right, all right. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, so let's try... Okay, I'm sorry to do this, Jade Mint, but let's try a bite. Okay, that got us a little bit more progress. Okay, and another rollout. Let's do one more quick attack. And then we'll see if we can catch her. Yes! Okay, that should definitely make it so we are able to catch her. Whoa, Jademan! Okay, uh, if this doesn't work, we're going to be in a little bit of trouble. But I'm sure everything's going to be fine. This is totally... There we go! Business as usual, you see. <laughs> Alright, I need to know more about this Pokemon! Real lore, I just cannot resist. I, I I mean, oh, oh, Pepcoin wants to learn the move Sunny Day. That is so fitting for the fact that he has been out here in the desert. Well, what of our grass types learning Sunny Day, like a fiery sort of intensive move? He's gonna end up learning fire moves, isn't he? Oh my gosh, Capsicid, or excuse me, Pepquin. What would you, or Pequin? What would you... No, no, no. We're going to go ahead and we're actually going to replace that. Let's replace maybe Leafage with Sunny Day. Because I love the idea that he learned Sunny Day because he's out here in the desert. That is so fitting. All right. Meanwhile. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so Relor. It rolls its mud ball around while the energy it needs for evolution matures. Eventually, the time comes for it to evolve. That sounds amazing. A rolling bug-type Pokemon. What is her personality? She fought well. So she knows roll out, mud shot, bug bite, and take down. And she's bashful and a little quick-tempered. So I think she was probably... Maybe she's embarrassed of her mud ball not being, like, as fancy as the others. But she also did not appreciate when we just kind of, like, threw ourselves into her. But all right! Heck! I'm loving this! Clearly, there are many other species of new-to-us Pokémon that we need to go ahead and poke as well, my friends. <gasps> oh, buried stuff! I knew that this place was going to have a bunch of treasures. No wonder we ended up having, like... Oh, wow, and there's, like, Stardust around here, too? No wonder we ended up having some trouble with oh rain oh my gosh learning rain dance from the desert also so really cool oh man yeah i uh, you can see buried ruins over there so that would explain to me why there was actually a den oh hello beautiful one day i will catch you one day i will catch you larvesta fuzz larvesta fuzz i have a lot of questions about that Oh man, this is so exciting. 
But yes, the buried areas under the desert clearly indicate maybe an area where a lost civilization civilization probably happens to lie. And that might actually... Yay! And now we have learned bullet seed. Or we have bullet seed to learn. And another max potion. Jeez. But if this was the result of a lost civilization, that would explain why there was a den that was actually dedicated to a whole bunch of the ghost energy for the terrestrializing. Meanwhile, this one, I think, is ice. Perhaps there are areas where the opposite energy that you would expect gathers, just like from the force of opposites attracting. Then again, it gets very, very cold in the desert, so... Maybe a little column A, a little column B. Alright, Jade Mint, let's do this! Alright, so let's try out some Magic Leaf. And we just have this and one more EV to catch before I will be content with the number of EV in our EV expeditions. But we might see if we can actually catch a different terraform for all of the eight that we want to focus on. Hmm. Alright, we're almost there. It really is just, like, very easy to go ahead and complete these raids so far. And I'm probably going to, like... Hello? Oh, you're already done! Heck! <laughs> and I'm probably going to, like, regret saying that at some point, that these raids are super easy. But at the same time, it does make me feel kind of awesome. I don't think this is ever going to get old for me. I love just the feeling of like being surrounded by crystals in a spinning galaxy. It's awesome. And there we go. And even more Eevee fur. So last time, my wonderful Pixel Biology students, we did actually contemplate like, what do you do with Eevee fur? And I also actually have a lot of questions about all these feathers. Why so many of them? Why so many feathers? And we have a lot of experience, Candy, so I think at our next destination, when we go ahead and catch our breath for a moment, it would actually be quite nice of us to hand out the candy to our current team. I wonder if Jade Mint really likes the candy. And there we go. Another little Eevee. We'll go ahead and send this one to our boxes as well. And with one more Eevee left to complete the challenge that we gave ourselves, maybe it would be a good idea to take a second, review where we have been, and perhaps even review a little bit of how many of the Eevee we have. Hi guys! Wow! Porto Marinda. Porto Marinda is across this desert. Make sure you're prepared for the trip if you plan to go. Thank you! Thank you, kind citizen! Also, there's a stray Pokeball. Oh, and those Pokemon right over here. Let's wash them. It's a real good thing. Aww. So maybe they're going to wash their, like, bike Pokemon in just a second. Oh, look, and someone's hanging out with a Meryl. Is this an Oasis? Oh my gosh. What the heck? <laughs> this is amazing. Look at this. This is so awesome. Okay, okay, come on, this, this needs a selfie, for sure. Like, look at this waterfall, this is so cool. So now we have gone ahead and we have made it, friends, all the way, this is adorable, to the fine town of Cascarotha, or hang on, Cascarotha. Yeah, Cascarafa. That's so cool. Look, 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 there's even like a place to go eat. Oh my gosh. Can I get over there? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a path. Oh, this is so neat. Alright, well, let's actually come down. Let's make sure that, yeah, now that we've visited the Poke Center on the bottom, can we get to the one on the top? Yes! So we can just go ahead and, ooh, we could grab that normal type Eevee really easily. Uh, and we might just do that. I, I do want to review all of the Terra types of Eevee we have. Like, I don't think we have a electric Terra type. So we definitely might want to go ahead and snag that. 
Oh, man. And what is this one? Is That's not fairy. I don't think so. Hmm. Yeah, I need to... Like, this is fairy over here, I'm pretty sure. And there's another... Okay, I'm kind of a sucker for anything that's, you know, grass type. So we might have to pop down there, too. Yeah, there's not too many of them left now. And there... Oh, but up here, there's actually another one of the ghost types. Wow. But how would we get over there? I think that area might actually be closed off to us until we can swim? Or... If I somehow found my way, like, up this mountain again? Ooh, that would be kind of difficult. But what a challenge! I just... Ugh, I get so excited about the challenge of it all. Alright, meanwhile, let's go ahead and heal up. And thank you very much, Nurse Joy. And then let's actually poke the TM machine. We're gonna see... What kind of EVs we have, and if we have too many repeating terror types. There we go. Thank you very much. And we're also going to pop over here. What can we actually do with this Eevee fur? Speak to me, friend. All right. So we can actually make protect from Lechonk hair and Scatterbug powder, which I love. And then is there anything we've unlocked that uses Eevee fur? Because I feel like Eevee fur should normally be kind of... Oh, oh! Helping hand! Oh! The user assists an ally by boosting the power of that ally's attack. Oh! Interesting! Like, I don't think we are actually working on going ahead and having two Pokemon out at the same time right now. But that is definitely something to note. I find that fascinating that of all of the TMs that you can actually use to create Eevee fur with, it actually has to do with helping others out. Huh. I mean, Eevee can transform into a lot of things, so I wonder if that means they have a really- or evolve into a lot of different things, I should say. So I wonder if that means they have, like, a really, really comfortable sort of personality where they're- they're happy to work with, like, a, a wide variety of other Pokémon. Also, I- I just have to stop in here to see. <laughs> Welcome to Zappa- uh, uh, Zappalvia Footwear. Feel free to browse our wares. I just have to see friends. Like, come on. We're, we're in the middle of the desert. I might as well go ahead and see if we need to get another pair of shoes. All right, so they have engineer shoes. They have dress shoes. They've got sandals, which would be fitting for actually, you know, being out in perhaps the, the cities, or excuse me, perhaps out in the sun. Okay, sporty sandals. They have flip flops too. <laughs> Okay, so if we were going to spend a bit of time actually hanging out, like, in in the... Oh, those are actually kind of cute. If we were going to spend a bit of time hanging out over at the port, that's probably what I would snag. Also, I kind of feel like these are good boots for being able to be, like, a hiking expedition sort of person. That's the last pair we have in stock in that style. It's very popular. Let's go ahead and pay with our LP. I like to think that the LP is actually mm -hmm, our salary that we get for going ahead and being really fantastic adventurers. And, you know, for being the pixel biologist professor. Oh, even if everybody doesn't acknowledge me because I am short. All right, what's in here? Welcome to Chansey Supply. What can we assist you with, <laughs> assist you with today? Oh, I see. Okay, so that's like a lot of the like adorable herbs and things. I love that that's a chancy. No, 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 no. I want it out. I want it out. Wow, they were they really really wanted me to go ahead and get more from there. But all right, and then finally, let's actually see if there's any delicious food for us to snag right over here. For some tasty food for our Pokémon. <gasps> Mapu tofu. That is literally one of my husband's favorite things. He loves Mapu tofu. And there's some ramen. Oh my gosh. Oh man, what to go ahead and eat? Teensy Power Ice, Raid Power Ghost. Oh man, Raid Power Dark. Oh, there's so many things. Encounter Power Fire, Teensy Power Psychic. You know what? Let's go ahead and we're actually gonna have some Mapu Tofu. Uh, this, although uh, though affordable, this dish is the real deal. The spicy tingling taste is as authentic as can be. 
Yep, from what I've heard, it is extremely spicy. Oh wait, we already have our meal. Encounter power grass. But we are gonna be driving across the desert, I think? For fire? Mm. I'm gonna keep it for now. <laughs> Dang it, all right, well at least I know where to get some mapu tofu tofu. All right, so let's see. Where would our next target be? We could literally just fly up there and get another normal raid type Eevee. But I'm actually pretty, like, interested in being able to go ahead and snag way over here that electric type. So let's take just a moment to catch our breath and do right by our Pokemon. This is so cute. You can just, <laughs> you can just walk in the little stream. I love it. But let's see if we can do right by all of our Eevee by giving them a quick glance over. I'm pretty sure all of our Eevee... Double checking. Yep, all of our Eevee are located over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And their Terra types happen to be Fire, Grass, Ice, Ice, Ghost, Psychic, and another Ice. So... Oh, that's so interesting. Okay, so that's Psychic. So there is a fairy and there is, we have two ice. So we need three more Pokemon uh, for the Eevees. Three more of these Expedition Eevees if we're gonna get like a, a variety of Terra types from all of them. And um, I think we actually have those ones already showing up on our map of alerts. This actually reminds me of like bird alerts. Uh, there, there are actual websites that you can download an app that other birders in your like neighborhood can ping and tell you where there have been rare bird alerts. Um, yeah, Chips and I use that a lot for our birding. And this is what that reminds me of. Like other amazing, fascinated people who love just watching the wild Pokemon, kind of like sending out an alert like, hey, there's an electric EV raid den spotted over here. So we have electric there, psychic there, Grass, which we already have down there, and Fairy down here. So I think... Oh, do we not have a normal type? <laughs> I may have skipped over the normal type Eevee as well. Yeah, there's another Ice. So I think there's just like those three more to snag. Let's double check. Did we really not grab a normal type like Terra? Oh my goodness, we did not! So those will be the last three we get, friends! Uh, Alright. Well, if we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure that out, I'm going to get our Pokémon ready for traveling into even more new places. Who knows? Maybe we'll be able to find a good pair of socks next. But if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and do let me know what would you use Eevee Fur for? Like, if it helps the bonds of friendship? I don't know, like friendship bracelets? I've got a lot of questions. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.